Hey everyone, welcome back, it's Will here. Um, when we last left off, we were just about to go outside, so let's give it a go. We're gonna head on outside and see what it's like in space. I'm kind of excited about this. A little nervous about the monsters that are gonna be out there, but um, I think it'll be good. Um, Talos 1 is 832 meters long. That's pretty long. Um, it's almost a kilometer. All right, here we go. Oh cool, we have whole new controls. Okay, so, um, Cool, your Transtar suit is equipped with a propulsion system to navigate the harsh environment of space. To navigate in zero G, use WASD, that makes sense, or uh, shift to boost thrust. Press Q and E to break. You can press space to ascend and C to descend. Hold E and Q to roll. Okay, this is gonna be disorienting, I bet. Um, I mean, yeah, you can like go in all these directions. Okay, so this could be super tricky. That's back into the hardware labs. Well, this is gonna be cool though. Okay, so we're really going out into space. Oh man, I just got rolled like by accident. Okay, so let's head on over here. And here we go actually out. Oh man. There's a lot of stuff out here and we can control our thrust. Cool. All right, so there's a corpse over there. There's a lot of stuff out here. You can hear my breathing, which makes sense sort of, I guess. Yeah, so even if you like look around you, it's really easy to get disoriented. Okay, so Dr. Calvino is only 36 meters that way. I think we're gonna wanna head there. I don't see anything worth picking up. So let's just head that way. Be a little mindful of where we are. The shuttle bay airlock is all the way over there. Cytronics, so these are locked from the, so we have to open them from the inside before we can, there's the power plant. Okay, so there's all these different airlocks we could jump to, um, but they're, you know, they're a little, they're locked, so you kind of have to go in at least once from the inside. And then you can use them to get around, which I wonder how helpful that is. Like, if you already can get there inside, um, we need to break here because we're going kind of fast. Okay, so let's move forward. Um, yeah, we can roll, but we don't need to. Um, let's just move sideways so we can peek in here. Okay, so this is the, the that room we were peeking in before, actually. Looks like there's two floors here. So there's a bunch of stuff in here. I'm hoping there's no mimics in here, but they did kind of hint that there could be some bad stuff. So let's just head in slowly. I'd love to pick up a lot of that debris. It looks really helpful. Um, let's do the first floor first, the top floor first. Coming over here. Um, grab these spare parts, grab that. Oh, that O2 bottle is just to throw. Well, it's less helpful. Okay, so what would repairing the failsafe do? Like, could we seal this thing back up? Ah, I'd need another, I need repair too. And I don't think I have enough neuromods. I, oh, I have three neuromods. Um, do I want to get repair too? Well, I can't anyway. Um, I guess I need four, and I'm not sure I'd want to spend it on this. But it's nice to know it would be an option. I wonder what it would do. Like, would it actually let me just seal this whole thing back up? I guess possibly, which would be pretty cool. Um, okay, let's head forward. That's the door. We couldn't go it through before. Oh, but see, I bet if we could seal this up, there's all these places we could go, like this beams and waves lab. Ooh, an EMP charge. Um, can we get, that's cool. The MP charge emits a large burst of electromagnetic energy, highly effective against robots, turrets, and other electrical-based entities. Can definitely see that coming in handy. Let's pull back out the pistol. All right, Dr. Calvino, we're coming for your key card. That is why we went to all this trouble. Um, so let's come get it. Don't worry, there's gonna be something scary. You found him. Not surprising. Well done. We got his transfer too. Super useful, actually, multiple transcribes. So let's listen to that. Mio, this is Dr. Calvino. What's up? I'm feeling ill, I, not myself today. I think I won't be in for my shift at all. Okay, do you still want me to finish this array? I fabricated a shit ton of glass. Array? I don't recall. You asked me to set up a new array. You must have misunderstood. Are you... Honestly, I prefer if you left my experiments alone in my absence. Uh, well, look, 
I have a message you left me. Seriously, I would not have made all of this if you hadn't... No, no, of course. I, uh, I remember now. I, uh, let's just, uh, for the time being, uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter? Uh, uh, let's uh, talk about it tomorrow. Well, that's mysterious. I wonder what was going on. Uh, this is, um, oh, is this the same this thing we just listened to? Vino. Yeah. Ugh. Sorry, guys. Well, I suppose you've turned in. Oh, no, it's the second uh, call. Are you ignoring me? I just want to... Well, I, I will be a little late for my shift tomorrow, but um, uh, the, the first thing in the morning, I want you to put together a new micro lens array. You see, the, the old one is its garbage. And uh, get what you need from the machine shop. And if Clive is being an ass, just take it from the supply closet when he's not looking. Uh, we're not supposed to know the code, but, uh, well, uh, I'm sending it to you anyway. Weird, so I wonder what he was up to. Um, because that sounds super suspicious, super suspicious. Of course, is it supposed to? Um, alright, let's see if we can use this failsafe. It looks like it's in better state than the other one. Um, is there a button on it I can push? Control panel. Like, what happens if I use this? Is there anywhere to use it? It says control panel, but it's... I don't, like, see an actual thing to push. Yep, shooting it didn't do anything. Alright, well, we got what we needed, which is awesome. So, let's just head on back. Let's get out of this, uh... Let's get out back out of this suit, back to where there's some oxygen. It's a little creepy to have to be out here. Um, that's the airlock we came through. Yep, that's the airlock we came through. So we're not that far, which is good. Wow, this space station is big. It's going to take a lot to explore it all, isn't it? Oops. Sorry, guys. Meant to switch to a horizontal here. Push forward a little. Great. All right, successful mission though. Not too difficult, not too crazy. Um, let's get back in. And pop back inside, perfect. Yeah, that felt pretty good. Transtar's board of directors is made up of a shadowy group of international investors, very ominous, very, very ominous. Okay, so we're back inside. Um, let me real quick see if we can fix up our inventory. Um, oh no, I should probably check um, the wheel while here. Yeah, what happens? Oh, Q is um, Psy stuff probably. And C is health, got it. So how do I fix up my suit? Because the health on it is at zero. Well, we'll have to figure that out at some point. Okay, so what are we doing next? We got the key card. We need to go back to the hardware labs to go and get ourselves into his workshop, which is right here. So we need to go, ideally we would go back through here, but um, I think that was all like super electrical, so I'm not sure we can. So we might be better off trying to get back up through that vent we came through in the first place. So let's try that. Let's see if that vent's still open. Um, I think we got in somewhere up here, was it? So, nice, some more stuff we can take. Um, oh, there's a, oh, there's a little more stuff around here that we should have grabbed before. Whoops, almost leaving a lot of good stuff around. Okay. Now here's a vent, too. Oh, we checked this one before, and we didn't come in here because we didn't need to yet, and it looked kind of ominous. So great, let's pop back through here. Pick up anything we didn't pick last time, and then great, now we can get right into Dr. Calvino's workshop, which is bigger than I was expecting, because it's a workshop, not an office, and therefore there's probably something scary in here. Great. Well, there's the console. Oh, crates, we can move these. Come get a free, is that a med kit? Yes. These things are like gold, like pure gold. Come on down here. 
let's just check this area out before we start accessing the console because I'm sure we're going to get something scary or important happening once we do that. Computer cart. What is going on here? Diagnostics. Weird. Um, I mean, I guess a lot's happened on this station, station so you can imagine some stuff being broken. Oh, that's a nice pretty view of outside. Wonderful. All right, so he was, based on those recordings, up to something weird and suspicious. So I'm sure we're going to find something good when we listen to the tape or, or log into the console and try to listen to the tape. Spare parts, hard drive, engineering control systems. There's a metaphor here, you know. Typically, the objective of control theory is to monitor the output of a system and compare it with the desired output, the reference signal. We read this before a long time ago, I think. All right, well, let's check his... Check his email. Custom travel mug from Fairy. Uh, Mary, this is Dr. Calvino. I require you to fabricate a travel mug that weighs exactly 170 grams. Empty, of course. My feeble hands need a lightweight container for my coffee. I'll be sure to put it a good word to Dr. Thorstein for your distance. Dr. Calvino, okay, I'll get right on that. <laughs> Mary, that must have been so annoying. Scale modification. Clive, this is Dr. Calvino. I need you to modify a scale so it, when it reads to 170 grams, it sends an on-off signal. Oh, interesting. So he had the mug made to exactly 170. He's definitely up to something. Looking glass technical specs. Lorenzo, I've had a look at the specs you sent me. I see a few problems. I didn't realize you'd offloaded so much of the processing and storage. What if someone took a wrench to the main server? The whole system goes down. Uh, we need these videos. Anyway, come by when you get a chance and we'll go over the details. I have a few suggestions if you're amenable, Jorgen. Okay, well, hopefully no one took a wrench to the main server because we are about to try to access this thing and the power is out. Oh, you're kidding me. Power control terminal. Is there a way to turn on the power? Yes, power on. All right, let's do it. Prototype looking glass connection lost. Looking glass console. Okay, here we go. Select video to send to the looking glass display. Network utilities, verify and or restore server connectivity. Diagnostics, diagnose network servers, diagnose LG screens. Okay, let's try the tests. Oh, could not connect. Okay, those don't work. Um, let's do a diagnostics. Let's diagnose the network servers. Verifying server connections. Disconnected. Why did that shake? Like, do we really need... Oh. That doesn't look good. That looks like a giant creepy mimic creature. Yep. Ugh. Gosh, I hope it can't see me. Okay, let's try diagnosing the screen. The screen should work fine, right? They're right here. Yeah, all the screens are intact. Okay, so there's a problem with the network servers. Let's try these network utilities. Checking server status. Online. Great, let's check this one. Online. This one. Online. This one. Online. This one. Let me guess, the last one's not gonna work. Oh, no, second from last. Connection restored. Great. Nice work, Morgan. The looking glass screens are online again. Head back to your office as soon as you can. It's important you hear the rest of your message. I'll meet you there. Back to the office. All right, but it seems like we can just watch it here. Maybe not, maybe it's private and only able to watch the office. Okay, so we wanna go back to the foyer so we can get back to the office, right? I'm sure there's some other stuff in here that's helpful, but I think our work is basically done. So let's just head on out. Cool, back through here. Stay away from that thing. Oh, I do not remember that phantom. Did I go around or something? Um, I don't remember this. Shoot. Did it come back or respawn or something? I mean, I guess I could kill it, but I don't really want to have to. 
Is there another way out? Okay, let me try through here. Just in case it gets me out. I mean, it doesn't look like it goes the way I want to go, but... Yeah, this might not have helped me at all. Oh yeah, this was that theater. We never got in here, actually. Um. Oh, we forgot to pick up some of this stuff, though. All the alcohol. Can't forget that. Okay, well at least that helps us avoid the phantom. I wonder, maybe we just never... Mimic. God, those things are annoying. So I wonder if they're like reappearing or coming in from somewhere. Um, well, let's get out of here. That was a phantom. Let's get back to the lobby. Yes, I'm very sure. Let's get out of here. Whew, I guess he didn't see me. Um, so they must have come back because that one, I, that area, I definitely cleared before. So either they come back or there was a new one that appeared. Creepy. Uh -oh. Cool. Let's see, is there going to be something else in here? Now I'm just worried about stuff coming back everywhere. Ooh, bolts. I can pick them up now. Great. Is the lobby all clear? I'm hoping it is. Man, this game definitely gives you the heebie-jeebies. Um, yeah, I think it's fastest to go back through here. Oh, nope. Yeah, we're gonna have to clear this then, again. Um, alright, let's figure out how to do that. Let's squeeze by. Did it disappear? It's like moving around the offices too. Probably about to get jumped. Ooh, turret. That was different than a normal mimic, right? Um, is this thing busted? Yeah, it's busted now. That was, I don't think that was a regular mimic. Didn't seem like it, at least. It seemed more ominous. Um, like it had the purple flares around it and stuff. All right, let's see if we're back into these offices though. This seems clear. This seems clear. Okay, so you know what? Now I can see why you, ah, oh, man. This came out of nowhere. Hopefully we have a pistol though. Um, okay, so now I can see why you would want to, once you open up the airlocks, want to fly around outside. If there's nothing out there, better than crawling back through all these offices and jumping into new monsters and stuff. Okay, so I think we've got this set up. Let's watch this video. Now that we did all that work. Utilities. Zoom. Where were we? You ready for the show? You're not going to like what I have to say next. You have to destroy Talos 1. The research, the Typhon, nothing can survive. Oh, man. Including you. I know Aww. how it sounds, but you've seen what those creatures can do. They're a part of you now. If even one cell gets back to Earth, we're lost. I'm sorry. I wish there was another way. January can walk you through activating the self-destruct mechanism. Alex will try to stop you. He's allergic to failure. Too proud to go back to mom and dad with his tail between his legs. So it's up to you now. Good luck. Told you you wouldn't like it. Nah, actually, I'm kind of down with it. These things are creepy. Um, the mimics, I don't really want them going anywhere. Um, cool, awesome. Okay, so we kind of know what we need to do. We're going to need to spend some time with January to figure out how to activate the self-destruct sequence. My guess is it's not going to be a super... Oh, hello, January. Hello, Morgan. I'm January 2035. I'm an operator. There are many operators aboard Talos-1, but none of them are like me. Morgan. Cool. I'm your plan B. My first task was to free you from the simulation. 
The second task was to make sure you saw your video. Those are done. Interesting. New directives are now available to me. The self-destruct protocol for Talos-1 is activated by two arming keys. Your brother has the first. You had the second. Alex destroyed your arming key. But you hit a fabrication plan for a new one in deep storage. That's where you need to go next. We can worry about getting Alex's key afterwards. The Typhon are spreading fast, Morgan. You'll be racing against them. And your brother. This key card will grant you access to the main lift and all the labs. The main lift is the fastest way to reach deep storage. Okay. Up oh, there's the key card. Great. So we got that. Okay, so we have to go to deep storage. You asked me to provide you with more neuromods, which I've done. Good luck, Morgan. Perfect. You've been trapped in the simulation for three weeks. Normally, the tests are only a few days long. Okay, good. So, we have uh, the key card. Kind of know what we need to do. So, um, next up, we're going to have to figure out how to get to the lift and get to deep storage. Um, with that, let's take a break here. Thank you so much for watching. Um, this is getting pretty interesting. we got to figure out how to blow up the station. So, that's what we're going to start working on. Talk to you soon. Bye.